刀を抜いて収めるという感覚を否定すると。はい、<笑>全然間に合ってないですね。Katana tends to be overrated, but isn't it actually weak in a real battle because it's easily damaged? 間違いではないんでしょうね。皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. Guys, today I'm at a really, really special place in Osaka. I just finished taking a two day seminar of the very famous and also my really most respected Ryuha in Japan called Asayama Ichiden Ryu. When I signed up for the seminar, they actually gave me a proposal to do this collaboration video together. I am so Really, really excited. If you are a fan of Japanese Budo martial arts, you absolutely cannot miss one second of this video. I hope you enjoy till the end. So, then, Sek Sensei, this is your show. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to Even the Tokugawa family that ruled my beloved Edo period only lasted for 15 generations. So you can understand how long the history is. Asayama Ichiden Ryu is a comprehensive martial art that is not limited to the katana, but also the staff, sickle, chain ball, iron fan, taijutsu, etc. Due to the large number of weapons used, there are more than 200 kata, so you will learn a number of techniques that are unmatched by most modern Budo martial arts. Six Sensei is a very gifted person who was truly born to do martial arts. Since his father and mother were both well experienced in martial arts, he himself has been practicing kendo since he was three years old, iaido since he was nine years old, and jodo staff and kobudo since he was 23 years old. Through tireless efforts, he has developed a remarkable martial arts talent and won grand prizes in the All Japan Championships in Yaido and Jodo more than twice each. And today, he is not only the headmaster of Asayama Ichiden Ryu, but also a master of Musou Shinden Ju Shin Ryu, 8th Dan of All Japan Kendo Federation, and 7th Dan of Jodo, and 5th Dan of Kendo. He is certainly A treasure of Japan. I hope you now understand how nervous I am standing next to him. In this video, he will teach us the basic but most important technique of drawing and sheathing the katana in the Asayama Ichiden Ryu style, and one of the kata that has been handed down for hundreds of years, so that you can understand the fascination of this practical and logical form of kobudo. But first of all, what is kobudo? How is it different from modern martial arts like Kendo and Yaido? Kobudo no baiwa, dono yo ni kire ni ute mo, ikishin no waza o manande ruto. You are the rule to you no anaishi. So koni kyogi se mo sports se mo naito. This means that modern Budo originates from Kobudo, but the main purpose is to safely develop the mind and body through training. In a way, you may be able to say that it's closer to a sport. In contrast, the purpose of Kobudo is essentially the pursuit of how to actually take a human life on the battlefield. Therefore, looking at some specific aspects, all kata taught in Asayama Ichiden Ryu are kumiyai, where two people train together. And there is no solo EI. It's because if you can't confirm the effect of the move, there is no point in training in it in Kobudo. This prevents the form from becoming a formality, or some people even call it a dance, that is often pointed out in modern martial arts. Also, Asayama Ichiden Ryu doesn't have the typical chiburi or tore that's practiced in Yaido. The only bowing you do is to the area you stand. Which you may die in battle. All these are also characteristics of a practical and logical kobudo. So that's why his sensei taught him a very important lesson. Because they are teaching a technique that can actually take a person's life. 
they have to be very strict about who they carry it down to. So now let's start actually learning the amazing techniques of their duha. If you can draw the katana quick enough, your enemy will not be able to attack you, and therefore you don't need any yai techniques. It's shocking because I've used many years for practicing yaido. Can you really draw that quickly? Because Asayama Ichidenryu is a traditional style of martial art, it assumes that we always have a wakizashi on our waist, along with the longer uchikatara. If you do the general way of holding the handle, you can't draw the katana properly when you have a wakizashi. Holding it from underneath the wakizashi won't work, and holding it from above will limit your drawing direction. Then, what should we do? はい。で、こっちを出していくんです。刀の方。はい。で、つばが親指の付け根に当たったのが一つの合図です。うん、ここです。そう。ここを送るね。はい。で、ここから鞘を下げ、なおかつ左足のつま先の母子宮の軸で
He explained that the katana can be pulled out in one tempo by using this technique. The typical two tempo movement of grabbing the handle and then drawing the katana, which is a common Yaido technique, will not be fast enough no matter how much you hurry. You must relax your left knee. And by opening and closing the body around the root of your left thumb, it is possible to pull out the sword so quickly. Calm down everyone, I know you're already trying to start practicing this, but there are a few more points you need to understand about this technique. First, you must never clench your right hand. If the right hand is gripped in a typical way, your hand will also be following the handle when your hips are turned to the left. Your fingers should only be gently placed with the fingers extended. This way, whichever direction the sword is drawn, your right hand can freely change direction without being affected. Also, your enemy will never know which way you're intending on the drawing the katana. By the way, gently placing your right hand on the handle also has a meaning of defense. あ、わかんない。で、また寄せて、さや下げると、こうなる。ああ、しかもそこまでも早いですよ。そうそうそうそう。はいはいはい。なるほど。はいはいはい。だから握っちゃいけないって。どう抜くかもわかんない。どう
you will understand it little by little as you continue to train. So, the katana drawing that we just practiced can of course be done in other directions, such as left, right, and back. I especially thought that the drawing towards the right is interesting. Surprisingly, you don't bring your right hand in front of you, but you bring it to your right side and bring the katana handle to your hand. If you do it the typical way of bringing your right hand to the handle to draw to the right, your enemy will easily know that you're about to draw. There is no way I could have come up with this idea, and it's amazing. But everyone, what's even more stunning is the drawing towards the back. In order to test how fast and effective the katana drawing of Asami Shenyu is, we did another experiment. I will follow six sensei from behind and will draw anytime I want. And the sensei will respond to that and draw later. <laughs> I tried to do it as quietly and fast as possible. But I still couldn't make it. How did he know when I'm going to be drawing? That really is amazing. I think what's most amazing is that he doesn't look like he's rushing at all. How can you seem so relaxed but still move so fast? <laughs> so it is all about how fluidly you can move. Because if there are several steps in the movement, it slows you down. And in the world of Iai and Kenjutsu, it is not important to be hasty and fast. As long as you can surpass your opponent's beat or rhythm, you will win the battle. Slow fast? It seems like a contradiction in terms, but after seeing the sensei's techniques, it makes sense. I actually had one more very important question I wanted to ask Six Sensei. Katana tends to be overrated, but isn't it actually weak in a real battle because it's easily damaged? I completely agree with this opinion. Being a weapon is only one aspect of the katana. Since ancient times, katana has been an offering to the gods, a beautifully crafted symbol of authority and power made by precious steel. When a samurai received an important order from his lord, he would receive a katana at the same time. This culture continued into the peaceful Edo period, and it was both a right and a duty of a samurai to always carry two katana. Many people misunderstand this, but originally, the katana was not to be drawn at the will of the samurai himself, but was given to him to fulfill the orders of his lord. This includes, of course, drawing to one's enemies, but also drawing to oneself in the form of seppuku. Samurai were given the highest status in society and provided with food, clothing, and shelter because they fulfilled the duties of holding katana. This is why katana were called the soul of the samurai, and it was considered obvious to master how to handle it. Of course, the katana is not completely useless and weak. There are situations where it could be advantageous to use it. If you think of katana only in terms of its value as a weapon, you are likely to miss its artistic value and cultural significance. So we now understand that the katana is a very special item for Japanese people. But then we all still have one more question in our minds, right? Then what really is the strongest weapon in Japan in combat? Bow. 
払ってきたり売ってきたりっていうことなんで。It's surprising, but the staff that is hardly featured in anime and video games is actually the strongest. The strength of the staff. After all, is that it has no bleed like the katana or naginata, giving it a much greater range of freedom in how it is used in battle. As I've explained in the beginning, Six Sensei is also an expert in Jo. I will love to learn how to handle the staff someday too. So now, it's time to learn one of their yai kata. At my request, he chose a technique called Hinari Goshi Left Waist, which is not flashy but has a deep and interesting logic. The enemy walking on your left side draws the katana towards your waist, but you respond to it and win. This kata may seem simple, but there's a lot to learn. Let's have him demonstrate it for us. もうこれ腕も並んだと思いますよね、はいはい、もうはいこれは要するに、はい、後出しじゃんけんの利なんですいやいった後出しじゃんけんじゃないですか後からやる人の利つまり先に手出す方っていうのはこれめがけてくるんですよねこうなるでしょはいと、ね、それ以上今度ね変化ができないんです全く同じことするんだけど、はい、後からやる方っていうのは引いて回避できるああここに来るって分かってるから相手のラインに対して上を行ってるんですよ、はい、高低差ね。本当ですね。うん、そうするとこれは当たらないで、はい、こっちが振ったところに相手が手をぶつけに来る形になる。はあ、もう今自分から当たりに行くそうそう自分から当たりに行く現象が起きるんです。抜き方そのものは、はい、さっきの抜いて構える、はい、これで勉強したやつを水平にしただけのことです。Oh my gosh! As an Iaido trainee, these kinds of moves are just so interesting to learn. In Yaido, we are always taught that all the kata we train in, the situations are where the enemy will try to attack you first. But you might think, how is that even possible? Shouldn't the one who moves first be advantageous? After seeing these kinds of skills, though, you can see that if you understand the logic, you don't have to move so quickly to be able to win a battle with the katana. Then they gave me a surprising offer. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely have no confidence, but I'll try. Let's see if I can suddenly do one of the kata from Asamui Chindu with just a few minutes of practice. Look! Look! I'm pretty sure I looked like a complete amateur, but still, I was able to succeed thanks to the sophisticated techniques of the kata. This is probably the only situation that I could win against, Six Sensei. Then, lastly, I wanted to ask Six Sensei one last question. What are your future plans as the headmaster of Asahama h i n d u やっぱ、ね、今度はそこまでねあのやっぱ育てなきゃいけないしそうですね,そうですね、はい、That sounds like a wonderful idea But how long does it take to become an instructor level? 純月の問題じゃないんでねやっぱりその人物と理解力体現能力そして伝達能力伝えるそうですね教えることもできないといけないですよね Six s e n s e told me that currently there's no one in the instructor level, and next year someone might become an assistant instructor, which is one rank lower. He told me that it's not so difficult to become one, but considering the fact that he has so many talented apprentices but still doesn't have any instructors, I personally am guessing it must be pretty strict. <laughs> 本,本部と埼玉支部合わせて27人で稽古してますんでそれ以上にねこう広がってあの稽古してくれる
人が増えればあの私もあのこの世に生を受けた甲斐があるなっていうふうに。Six and say and the members of a s a m a j i n you thank you so much for your time today. By the way, I fought against Six and say with a fukuro shinai for the first time. And you can watch me terribly lose against them. So if you're interested, please check out their channel. They have given me a proposal to collaborate once in a while. So I hope you can look forward to the next video with them. Everyone, thank you very much for watching.